when researchers look at fresh cadavers, there's no trigger points in them. If they were actually huge knots that were physical things, a fresh cadaver would have these knots, but there's no knots to be found. Even if it feels that way, that knot is actually a, th a threatening response like to palpation. It only exists to palpation, but you can easily inhibit that or you can in inhibit tone with ISTM with reciprocal inhibition. So if he has a lot of high tone here, if he was like, oh yeah, I have this huge knot right here, just sit, sit up a little bit taller. Sometimes it, it already goes away. How's that feel now with retraction? It's already a little softer. But if that doesn't reset it, I'm going to put like uh, just a couple of fingers underneath the angle of the scapula, lightly push down into my fingertips. So now by contracting or activating the lower trap, now through reciprocal inhibition, this is inhibited. And I would just say, hey, look, you know, you're always so worried. You're always rubbing out the upper trap, but everyone's rubbing out the upper trap and placing it on tension. You know, I have like these finger traps in my office. I'm like, you're always stretching, stretching, stretching your muscle, your tight muscle. All that does is it increases the perception of stretch. If all you're ever doing is you're increasing the perception of stretch, the muscle is going to finally loosen when it you either make it fatigue or it's not going to loosen at all. 